Just another year of using up my makeup. I can do this. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be my project use up for 2024. I did do a project use up in 2023. I posted my final video in December and I showed if I was able to use up the makeup products that I wanted to use completely up throughout the year. So project use up is a little bit different from a more project pan video where I'm just hoping to pan products um, to see like the pan at the bottom of the products. These are products that I want to fully use all the way up. So it takes me a little bit more time and consideration to choose the products because I'm not going to go through an entire bronzer in one year like I'm just not I it's really hard for me to go for a bronzer in general so I have to be a little bit more picky when I'm choosing my products for the project use up but I really had a lot of fun focusing on my products in 2023 and I definitely wanted to do it again for 2024 so I have six products here that I'm going to run through with you I will do some check-ins throughout the year let you know how things are going and before we jump into it I do want to say there's a sponsor on today's video and I'm getting to partner with Scentbird I chose to partner with Scentbird on this video because I am including a perfume in my project use up I've included perfumes in the past in Project Pan videos. We haven't done the best, but I am including a perfume this year and I wanna see how much I can get on by the end of 2024. I've been able to partner with Scentbird in the past. They are a great subscription service if you are looking to find your new favorite fragrance or you wanna try out some new ones. Because for me, as someone who has wanted to be a fragrance girly for a couple of years now, it is very expensive to buy perfumes. It's very expensive to buy like full size perfumes. I'm someone who typically goes for more of a travel size because again, as someone who wants to be a perfume girly but is not currently a perfume girly, it takes me a long time to go through even a travel size version of a perfume. So to spend a lot of money on it, it just like, it just doesn't make the most amount of sense to me, you know? I actually started using Scentbird many years ago and this is where you can get perfumes like this sent over to you to try out when you open this like so. Your perfume is in here. It is the travel size perfume. Then you can try it out. You can see if you'd wanna purchase a, a full size of this one, if you'd wanna keep purchasing like a travel size. Um, and also, if you're getting into perfumes, it helps you decide what is your favorite style. Like, are you fruity? Are you floral? Are you like me? I tend to pull a little bit more, I guess maybe like on the masculine side, um, when it comes to certain fragrances. I kind of like your more, I guess like woody type of perfumes, maybe things like that. Um, and so it really helps you kind of narrow down what scents that you really prefer. You can get 55% off your first month at Scentbird using my code, which is MarchXO. I will also have this linked in my description box. They did send me two new fragrances for this month, and I have one of them that I'm going to be putting in the Project Use Up. And I love that it comes in the little travel case. This again will come into play when I'm talking about the one that I'm going to be uh, putting into my Project Pan. Again, you can open it like so, maybe if you don't want the case or you just wanna check what uh, fragrance that you're using. So they sent me Commodity Gold. So this one says, I love reading fragrance descriptions by the way but the signature gold essence of vanilla sandalwood and amber made ethereal with iso e super the delicate vanilla based fragrance catches the skin with a soft barely there glimmer the top notes the iso e super vanilla amber sandalwood i'm also big into amber and sandalwood i would say i find those a lot sometimes i like to throw in the vanilla in there so again when i was looking over the website that's kind of something that uh, stuck out to me a little bit and this one smells like Okay, so I have a really hard time describing fragrances. I'm not I'm not Lauren May Beauty, okay? Even though I want to be fresh, but in a soft way. Like sometimes when I say fresh, I feel like, I don't know, like a laundry detergent or like an air freshener or, or something like that. But this is like softer. How it says, oh, it says it on here. The soft, barely there glimmer. You definitely get the amber in here, which to me I feel like is making like the sandalwood a little bit of like a softer touch. Because to me, this one pulls what I would say like more on the feminine side, if you will. But this one is so nice. When I opened this one up, I was like, ooh. Like to me, this would be a really good um, day perfume, but I feel like it has enough like oomph to also make it a night perfume. Cause I'm definitely someone that has like day to night fragrances. I don't know if you are too, but I'm definitely someone like that. But the one that I'm putting into my project pan is this nice nice orange one um kind of goes along with the bold okay so i don't know how great my lip is looking right now because i just ate my body weight in sushi 
because I couldn't hold off dinner any longer. It was 5.35 and I was like, I can't, I can't wait any longer. Um, and then I film, I'm now filming a second video for the night, but we are trying to go for more bold lips in 2024. And I just finally got the Berry Pop collection from Natasha Denona. But we have this one here. This is Michael Kors Sexy Amber. So once again, top notes, Amber sandalwood, and then also white flower. It says, sexy amber weaves powdery florals and dry spice sandalwood into a sensual amber scent with a sexy whisper. It does. It does all of those things. Like, I don't know why you need me to describe it when I'm telling you that this is a sexy whisper. That's all you need to know. So this to me is like, I would say this is something that I would think is a more night fragrance. I can still pull it off for the day, but it has a little bit more of that like sexy sultriness to it. You know, the sexy whisper, the sultry whisper in the ear. That to me is what the Michael Kors has. I really wanted to pick a fragrance that I've only used a couple of times. Like each of these, I've just sprayed myself a couple of times with so I could get, get the vibes of them, decides which one I wanted to put in the video and all of that because some of the other ones that I've had from Scentbird, I've already traveled with them, I've already used them quite a bit. And kind of my goal with putting a fragrance in here is to see actually how much I use throughout the year. Again, while I do the project use up, I do check-ins every couple of months. And I'm this is just me for curiosity's sake. Again, for me, I have a hard time going through a full fragrance, so I just want to see, and I also want to challenge myself to do it. Because I'm someone who, I mentioned this in my project use up videos, once I start to like about to run out of a product, I stopped using it. I'm like, oh no, don't wanna use that. I'm gonna switch to something else. I did it in last year's project use up with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I was like, this is almost gone. I should go out and buy two more powders. Like why? Just fin finish something up. So that's the goal of this year. And I am definitely doing a lot of traveling in 2024. So I thought it would be perfect to put a travel size fragrance into this video. And I love the ones from Scentbird because again, I think that they're great for traveling with because they come in the case. So it's super easy. You just lock and unlock, like you just twist it here so you can lock and unlock. I feel like I don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, and it's just kind of perfect to put, like I can put this in my makeup bag. Um, I can put this in a carry-on. I can put this in my clutch, anything like that. So for me, I have, I think 10 trips planned in 2024. This is the perfume that I will be bringing. Maybe I'll like grab another one. I don't know, but I am going to be bringing this perfume. I'm going to try to use it up as much as I can and we will see throughout the year how we do. So thank you so much to Sunbird for sponsoring a portion of this video. Make sure to check out the link in my description box if you're interested in trying out any of their fragrances. If you have any that you think I would love, please leave them in the comment section. And again, you can use that code MarchXO for 55% off your first month. So speaking of products that I love and then I almost use them all the way up and then I stop, I very deliberately put this one in my project use up because I'm like, Samantha, if you do not use up this product in 2024, you have serious issues. Like you have abandonment issues, you know? And that's something that I've been work trying to work through in therapy over many years, but it definitely extends into my makeup collection. I'm saying this with humor, but now that I'm saying it out loud, there might be some truth to it. So I am putting in the Dior Backstage. Yes, I sure am. Yes, I am. So I, the video that I just filmed before this, I don't know if it's gonna go out before or after this video, but I was talking about my Makeup Holy Grails, like the products that I always love, I go back to, they don't let me down. And I mentioned this one from Dior. Now my Dior, it is only up to here. I'm gonna put a line on it, which is funny because there's already a line right here because I've had this in a project pan before. And we did not use it all the way up, but I just, I love the Dior Backstage. Again, this is a really travel friendly product as well because it is plastic. I don't feel like I have to worry about it breaking. It's easy to throw into my makeup bag. And this is a very uh, like blendable, buildable, natural finish of foundation. It's more of a light to medium coverage, which is what I prefer. I don't do full coverage at all. And I just have raved about this one from Dior for so long. And I mentioned in the Holy Grail video, it has been reformulated. I did say that I do want to purchase the new reformulated version as well. I'm just curious to try it out. Will I like it? Will I hate it? Will I like it more than how much I like the original? I don't know, but we have to, we have to use it up before we can try out the new one. I almost bought it. I do have a, like a little makeup haul coming up and I almost bought the new Dior backstage and I was like, you have to finish this one. You cannot buy the other foundation until you finish this foundation. So I am determined. I'm determined. I The last trip that I took was to Nashville and I brought the Fenty foundation stick and I remember instantly getting mad at myself because I was like, you're supposed to bring the Dior because you're trying to use this one up. <sighs> 
I'm trying. I'm going to try so hard. Again, it's, it's just like one of those, especially because it's been reformulated that it's like, I don't want to use it up because I love it so much, but also like use it up, girl. You can do it. Push through those abandonment issues, Samantha. One product that to me is just, it's never ending. I swear, I, I, sw I swear, I swear. I was using this product when I lived in Iowa. I swear to you. I, I feel like living, I, I think I was like about to move, but I feel like I started trying this product when I lived in Iowa and I was like, it has never taken me this long to use a brow pencil. I go through, I, I could be lying. Don't take, don't take that too seriously. Okay, don't, don't check me on that or anything. But I have been using this product for a very long time. It never takes me this long to use brow pencils. I use them so quickly. I don't understand how I'm still using the It Cosmetics Brow Power. I don't understand it. I say, I mention Iowa because that's, I've never gotten PR from It Cosmetics in Las Vegas, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty positive. Like, sometimes when you move and you try to message brands that you moved, so they send you the products to the new place you moved, they just don't do it, and the products just keep going to your old place. So, like, I'm pretty sure I've never gotten PR from It Cosmetics here. And look, this is, this is wild to me. I'm, out, I'm gonna be doing close-ups. This is wild to me. I use this pencil so much. I brought this pencil to Nashville with me. I brought it on other trips with me. I use this pencil so much. This is a never-ending brow pencil. If you want a good brow pencil that you are definitely get, going to get your money's worth out of, use the one from It Cosmetics. This makes me wish that when I first got it, I would have rolled it all the way up to see how much product. There's literally, this pencil, I feel like it's this long. I feel like it's this long. Oh, that's what she's with. I just don't understand it. I, and I remember thinking the other day, because I grabbed this to put in one of my travel makeup bags, I don't remember which one, and I was like, this one's almost gone. Like, I should put in a second brow pencil just in case it runs out, because that's like always the worst thing, right? It's like the most terrible thing that can ever happen to you if you're on vacation and you don't have a brow pencil, okay? No coming back from that. And then like, I didn't run out, and then I kept not running out, and then, I kept, and then finally I was like, let me just roll this thing up, and I was like, so I'm just genuinely curious. I'm just genuinely curious to see how much of this brow pencil I can use. It also just makes me feel like I can use it more freely now. Because again, I did that thing where I was like, surely it's about gone, so I'm going to use other pencils. I have gone through so many brow pencils before I've gone through that one from Ed Cosmetics. And I swear to you, I've been using it for years. So let's do a couple of lip products. I typically like to include lip products in here, especially lip products that I am about out of. That's what I was trying to do with my project use up um, that I did in 2023. Again, because the goal is to use these products all the way up, not just like get good use out of them, but I want to use them all the way up. So I grabbed a lip liner and I decided to do the one from ColourPop and this is in Beeper. So you can see it's pretty small. It's definitely not my smallest lip liner. My Natasha Denona is smaller. I think my Love Trap, no, nope, my Love Trap is, no, nope, my Love Trap is actually just a little touch bigger than the one from ColourPop. But I wanted to do this one because I really like Beeper. It's a, it's a shade that I wear a lot. I really like the ColourPop lip liners. I wear them a lot. I also thought it would be a fun like little throwback because I'm pretty sure I included Beeper in a past Project Pan video from many years ago. And then actually, I, I remember to this day, like I don't know what happened, but I opened up my Beeper to like put it on and there was nothing in it. Like I still had this, I had the shell, but there was nothing, there was no lip liner in it. It was like, and it wasn't even like, oh, I just used it all the way up. It was physically gone. I was like, what? Where did it go? And I was like looking around my bathroom like, did it fall out? Did it fall somewhere? I was gonna make a joke that someone came in and stole my beeper, but as someone who has experienced a break-in, that's not really that funny. It's not really that funny anymore. It's kind of triggering to me. But truly, it was just gone. I was like, where in the world did it go? So I just thought it would be kind of funny to include a new beeper back into a project pan. And again, I really like the formula. I really like the shade of this one. So we're gonna see how far we can get with Beeper. And then I'm also including from Sigma Beauty, this is their lip oil in tint. Again, I'm gonna do some close-ups so you can see. This baby is, if I can't use this up by like my first check-in, I again have serious problems. I have commitment issues, I have abandonment issues, Honestly, I don't know why I'm single. I'm clearly a catch. I love the Sigma lip tint. I've gone through one of these, and what's really funny is I have this one here. It's usually in my clutch. I have one on my nightstand. I was actually going through my nightstand today. I was looking for, what was I looking for? I don't know, I was looking for something. I couldn't find it, and I was like, maybe it's in my nightstand. And as I'm 
in my nightstand. I'm like, wait, there's a Sigma tint lip oil on my nightstand. I was like, but I thought my lip oil was over here because I had it, I was gonna include it in a video, so I have a little basket over here. No, I just have multiple of the lip oils in tint around my apartment, kind of like I do the Sigma switches. I was like, okay, that's that's how you know you have issues. Uh, but we are going to try to make it through this lip oil. I already obviously have a backup of this, but it's my favorite lip oil. There's other lip oils that I really enjoy, but I always go back to the one from Sigma Beauty. Again, mentioned this in a Holy Grail video as well. I love the shade tint. My code with Sigma is Samantha. So those are the lip products that we're gonna try to get through. And then lastly, this one to me, I, you know, I felt like I could have maybe included a foundation. I thought about the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. There really wasn't any bronzers that I felt like I could go through. I was like, maybe I could pull in another Super Shock Shadow, but nothing was really speaking to me as much as the MAC Fix Plus. And you can see I've used not quite half of it. And I kind of, again, it's a little bit like the fragrance. I just want to see for my own, my own benefit, my own two eyes, like how much how much do I really use out of this a year? Because I'll say when I first started doing Project Pan videos a few years ago, I'll say I've, I've never really been like a big Project Paner. Um, I don't really feel like a part of the Project Pan community or anything like that. I don't try to pretend to be or, or anything. Um, but when I started doing them a couple of years ago, I honestly feel like it's what started my shift in understanding how much makeup I own and how little makeup I really go through. Uh, I, I really, as I sat down and thought about it and I thought about my project use up that I did last year and I thought about the project use up I was doing this year, I feel like, because my mindset has definitely been changing the last couple of years, you've seen in my YouTube videos, I've done a lot more declutters, I've done a lot less hauls, I've done a lot less trying new makeup. Um, I have talked very openly about cutting back on makeup. I've talked openly about putting myself into a crazy amount of debt because of all the beauty purchases that I would make. I've talked about wanting to focus on memories over makeup and spending my money on trips and games and concerts and that sort of thing. But I really do credit the Project Pan. And if you are someone who you're wanting to cut down on your makeup purchases as well, um, or you're maybe concerned with how much makeup you have or how much money you spend on makeup, I do encourage you to try a project pan. I do encourage you to put the lines on your products and date them and see how long it takes you to go through a product. Because I remember some of my first project pans of me like holding up a lipstick and being like, I'll probably wear this like five more times and then it should be gone. And then I used it 25 times and it looked like I hadn't made a dent in it. And I was like, wait a second. Um, I, I can I can remember saying that in YouTube videos and realizing how dead ass wrong I was about how long it takes me to go through makeup. And it really did start to put things into perspective to me of, again, how much I own versus how much I'm actually consuming. If that's not something that bothers you and you love all of your makeup and you love to like look at your makeup and you, you know, I talked to a girl one time, she said, when I'm sad i like to go in and just swatch my makeup and that makes me happy perfect like if that's what you prefer do you boo i mean do whatever makes you happy that's the most important thing um but to me i was getting to a point where i wasn't happy anymore seeing this pile of makeup that had dust on it that i couldn't get through any of my products so i really do credit these older project pans that i did and having some of these realizations. So again, I kind of go back to the Mac Fix Plus and saying like, I'm just curious, am I gonna use this entire thing this year? I, I don't know. I mean, I purchased this one a while ago and I haven't even gone through half of it and it's my most used makeup spray. It's one of my favorites. I've had this in my collection consistently for a decade. Like I love the Fix Plus, but I also have four more sprays I don't know how many off the top of my head. I just did a makeup inventory video, but I have more sprays. I have the Benefit, I have the Urban Decay, I have an e.l.f. one. Like I have more sprays in there and sprays that I use. I just went to Nashville and I took my Benefit Professional. Pore setter, professional. I took the one from Benefit. Why didn't I take the Fix Plus? Like, you know, so it just makes me wonder like how, how long is it gonna really take me to go through this? And I think it'll be very interesting and eye-opening to see that throughout the year. So that's why I wanted to include the Fix Plus. And that's everything that I have in my project use up. I don't wanna to put too many products in here and overwhelm myself. Again, I'm trying to get through these products. I'm trying to give myself realistic goals, not opening up a full brand new tube of lipstick and being like, let's just see what happens. Um, again, I kinda of have a few in here that 
are more for my to see like how I really do with the fragrance and the fix plus but the other ones are products that I do feel like I can get all the way through in 2024. I'll do some check-ins throughout the year. Another thank you to Sunbird for working with me on this video. I'm excited to see how much I get through with the Michael Kors Sexy Amber Fragrance in 2024. If you're taking any trips with me or seeing me at all in 2024, you don't even have to ask. You'll know the fragrance that I am going to be wearing. But are you doing a project use up or a project pan in 2024? Drop any of the products that you are working on this year and I'll see you in the next one.